Well, this was one of the craziest swirl chases I've ever been on. I flew from Portugal to California for one of the biggest swirls that have been recorded in decades. Jeff Clark said he'd never seen a surf as big as this. It was going down as some of the biggest surf ever surfed at Mavericks, which says a lot on an iconic big wave spot. In this video, it's not all about the waves and the surfing. A lot of it's to do about the logistics and getting there. What happened in the way we got out there in the morning blew my mind. I got me pretty scared, actually. The boat that I was in almost sunk about three times. It was just mental. But we finally get out there. If you want to go straight to the surfing action, it starts at about 19 minutes. But really, it's about the logistics. It's about the, the waves that happened on that day. If you like the video, give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed and write a comment. And I hope you like every bit of this swirl chase. It's some pretty wet weather. <laughs> it's, uh, it's just normal for, for here. It's, just, it's, well, it's not Mulligmore. You know, El Nino can also be El Nono. With the south winds and the sustained winds over the last 500 miles coming at Mavericks right now, it's going to be pretty interesting tomorrow. The wind's going to drop, and where it's, but this six to eight foot south swell is going to be running into 50 foot faces cross grain. Um, things have changed in the last few years. Guys are riding everything, anything and everything. They're going out and going after it. And um, that doesn't change tomorrow. You know, a lot of people coming. I think the conditions are going to be really, um, you better have your, your A game on because it's going to be extremely challenging. You know, and hopefully uh, this wind, the, the swell will drop, the wind will drop, and the northwest swell will fill in. And, uh, you know, at any rate, it's going to be really big. And uh, I can't wait to see what tomorrow brings. It's for sure going to be a crazy tow session. I was just showing, I was just talking about the buoy reading, and I took a screenshot because it was so crazy. The 24 hour buoy is almost 37 feet at 16 seconds. That's 600 miles offshore, and you got to figure that wave is moving at about 25 miles an hour, considering the period, and that should get here about 24 hours from that reading, and uh, it's one of the bigger buoy readings I think I've seen, at least for here. Uh, with decay, I don't really know where that's going to end up, probably sometime, somewhere in like the mid to high 20s, but that's a lot of swell, and it's definitely really scary to think about what might happen tomorrow. <laughs> It should be a really fun and exciting day, though. It's basically the opposite of what I'm used to, you know, warm water at home, and here it's freezing cold water, right? And I heard it's, it could be like one of the biggest swell of the year, and yeah, I'm looking forward to spend some time in the water with everyone and hopefully catch a couple. Yeah, tomorrow's the day. Let's see what happens. I mean, it could be some of the biggest waves I've ever seen. Right now we're experiencing like 35 to 40 mile an hour winds and out, outer buoys reading 35 feet at 20 seconds. Um, but you know, there's so many microclimates in the Bay Area and looks like there's a window in the morning. So we're praying that we get at least a half day of, you know, serious big wave surfing. Couldn't miss this one. It, I saw it a long time ago and it keep on growing and for some reason it might grow into a tow fest because the winds are kind of iffy, storm is here, so we'll see, I mean, one more of the many surfers that came over for the big Maverick swell. Yeah, 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 taking the boat out, yeah, it's a bit of an adventure, you know, you have to take a different route out to Mavericks, you can't just go the normal route along the uh, jetty wall, so we're going to have to take kind of a long route to get there just to be safe, watch out for the reefs. There's a couple spots where it gets a little shallow, so we'll just kind of be smart and methodical how we get out there and then uh, just try to keep it safe and uh, keep everyone, you know, in the boat feeling comfortable. <laughs> I think we could reinforce it. Excited, mate? Pretty excited. Good. Haven't had uh, this kind of a swell come through in a couple years, so especially at this direction, this westerly direction, man, for Mavericks. Is, these are beasts. Every wave's a beast. A lot of hype on it, guys. A lot of hype, but compared to the last, you know, the beginning of the week, it, the 
the buoys are matching, the swell direction is kind of the same. It just add another 15 feet on it, so it's going to be something for sure. <laughs> we'll see. And uh, the, the, the crew here too, yeah? So. Yeah, we got a lot of guys from out of town. Um, a lot of the Nazare crews here, a lot of the regular pros who show up. Uh, they red-eyed from Maui last night, so we definitely have a lot of talent, that's for sure. So it's pretty dangerous out there today with that chop. Yeah. Well, there's a couple things. It's the chop from from the weather the last yesterday and the day before, and then the uh, the swell direction, the westerly swell direction. All right. Not cool. great for this place. Hey, hey Peter Mill. Hi, Tim. How are you, mate? Great, and you? Good, thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you too. So, mate, you back at your home? Man? I am. Yeah. You couldn't miss it, though, could you? Nah. Just yeah. for just to check it out. It's gonna be dramatic, uh, huh? I would imagine. And the wind's not too bad, eh? Like I was a bit worried. Not here. We're stiff, you know. Yeah, not, not here. here. I think it's blowing a little bit out there, but yeah, we'll be alright. Hopefully. So you've seen many of these kind of swirls, like no. in, the, in the time. This is pretty much up there. I mean, as far as uh. As far as direction goes, I've done the southeast, but the direction is um, different. Yeah, right. Very so west, straight in, eh? It's almost southwest. 260 is what I saw, which is below. That's southwest. So, um, shoulder hopper, <laughs> don't you drop it on me. <laughs> That's where I'll be. Good luck, mate. Thank Stay you. safe. Yeah, I will. Good morning. Good morning, mate. Um, red eye or what happened? You had Piahi yesterday, here now, and the wind's not too bad. Yeah, the wind looks good. Actually, super stoked to be here. Really warm morning warm. here, man. And after Jaws, I'm super stoked to make that trip, get some paddle waves. I was missing that feeling. And today looks like a big solid day here so I'm expecting a tall day and let's go let's get it hey Tim how are you mate good morning busy day at Mavericks first time here winds come down harbor's filling up everybody's here how's the nerves you get out yeah, the nerves are good um, I'm excited and I've got a healthy dose of respect for this place for multiple reasons um, 25 years I've been dreaming of surfing this place, so hopefully get one wave today. I'll be extremely grateful. So, looking for a safe day out there, a lot of fun, and um, hopefully all the locals smash some big ones, and um, and old Sully gets a wave, will be great. <sighs> <sighs> breathe, baby, breathe. <laughs> See you out there. So, are uh, you all set to go? Yeah, fuck, but we have a problem of the boat this morning. The engine didn't start, so we are, we are like kind of all trying to get a place on the ski or on a boat just to get out there. I was thinking to go towing, but I don't have a spot, so I think I will just go with a, with a paddle boat just to stay and hang out there and see how the swell is, and will be better than be on the shore for sure. Hey, bro. Let's go, Maverick. Here's the boat. How are we looking, mate? We're looking good. Yeah. I think we're Light all winds. Cast up, ready to go. Wind died down. It's gonna be some sets. Yeah. Buoys are going off, so should be fun. <laughs> um, okay. We're sitting here waiting and uh, unfortunately the battery is dead and so everybody's gone out and uh, we're just patiently, <laughs> oh god, everyone went out so early so they've been, already been out for two hours and we've been just like 
cruising around here <laughs> waiting for the boat to come and now it's here and now it won't start so they're actually heading off to a shop to buy a new battery so and the, and the wind's starting to feel like it's coming up a little bit too which actually ain't good so i'm a bit disappointed but it's never perfect all right sully <laughs> For you, it was also the same situation, we, uh, ready to go. Our jet ski is not up for the task today with three of us on it, so... Um, you went uh, out? Uh, we went out. Um, I've, you know, my first time out there, so I'm not familiar, but the whole entire place is closing out, and our ski is uh, was really struggling with three people in it. So, um, so I, 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 you know, what they say, discretion is the better part of valor, right? So I've, I'm, I'm going to sit it out while the boys go out, See if they can get some, and then we'll come back and we'll do. There's no way we're taking three people on the jet ski out there today. Um, the, we one ski flipped on the way out, like completely airborne, and uh, it was a yard sale. So jumped in the water and helped to kind of rescue the sled and get the sled came off the ski and helped get it all together. But um, it's a long day and it's just the beginning. What does Cody always tell me? It's a marathon, not a sprint. So um, anyway. Tim, it's nice to be on the dock sitting here with you, mate. Um, <laughs> okay, we come all the way from Europe. Missing, we're not missing anything, right? No. Nothing to see here. No. Not, not missing anything, nothing to see it's pretty here. pretty grey. The <laughs> waves are breaking over the breakwater. And it's, there's, there's two foot of swell in the harbour here. Um, I think it's massive out there. Massive. So finally, uh, we've got Kev's got a new battery. <laughs> so we're trying to see if we're going to get some action here. It's got it in the... Uh, in the space. This thing needs to be strapped It's gonna happen. It's, it's gonna happen. Man. We're looking good. God's Feeling man, positive. Tim. So Tim, um, tell me where are we? What are we doing? Well, obviously we're here at the uh, the marina where they put the skis and boats in. This is the main one obviously where all the big expensive boats are but we're on the Zodiac and um, you know, not everything works the way you want it to work. So basically um, we're hoping that Kevin, with the new battery, the engine's gonna fire up and uh, happy days again amongst it. And the good news is Sully rang one of his mates out there and found out what's going on and no one's towing it. So I haven't been missing 50 foot bombs and, um, and like sitting here. So um, yeah, hopefully um, when we get out there, the show will start and everything will be good. How you feeling, boys? Uh, more confident now than we were. Uh, yeah. uh, Woohoo! Woo Let's go! Oh, right. That was it? <laughs> All right, we have, we have oh a, my god! We have a full battery instead of a dead battery. So that's, I that's, like that idea. Yeah. You know what? If anything, it's a good thing. All um, right, it's on. Going out there with. It's gonna be all right. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Finally, here we go. The adventure is starting now. <laughs>
was the hairiest moment I think I've had in a long time. The boat was starting to sink and uh, <laughs> it was one shit fight to the next but look what we got here. We got a boat full of water and we were lucky. Yeah. How was it? What was going on mate? I don't know man. I wish I had an answer. This is, this is not what we experienced yesterday. So we're going to go assess and hopefully we'll get back out there. Yeah. Yeah, we'll just put it on the trailer, drain the water, yeah, and then hopefully get back out. This is the adventure. So I was actually shitting myself because I actually had clothes on underneath my wetsuit, oh. and I was pulling everything off. I put it all out on the back seat, thinking that we we're going to have to abandon ship, you know. So. Yeah. That? Yeah. I mean, we don't even have stuff to pull it out. Stand, well, I don't know. We need a bike. It feels like you can take you know, yeah, this many people. Absolutely starting to shit myself. So from one problem to the next, <laughs> we're still not out there. And the, the, the fact is we've got to go back out again. So could make it up, Tim. No. Could make it up, mate. Boat's almost sinking. We're gonna get out of there, I'm telling you. We're gonna get out there. Well I'll tell you what. Boat's taking on water. The boat almost sank on the way out. Back to the harbour to empty out. Uh, remember, bring a bucket next time. <laughs> All right. Good idea to have a bucket on the boat. Ah, uh, what a day! Tons of water coming out. What's that rope around there? Oh, the rope on the. Oh, that's half your problem. Oh my god, that's your problem. Where the hell did that come? Fucking. Picked up some debris. Oh. Remember the easy days, eh? Yeah. Oh my god. Huh? Oh you put it in your suit on because you thought you could make it back. Oh, yeah. It's a culprit right there. Oh. <laughs> what, what is that? Where's the water? Unbelievable, eh? Yeah, That's why we had no speed to be able to drain the water out. It just kept on taking the water. It's, it's just wrapped power. around the, so, the propeller. No power, no drain. Leave it there, leave it there, go. It's off the trailer. <laughs> The trailer, the trailer came off. We're good, we're good. Let it, let it empty. It's going to be way lighter. The trailer came off, but... Be careful, I swear. I'm not getting underneath the thing. Yeah. I think that was, uh... I think that was the problem. I think it was a lot to do with the problem. Yeah. Tim, you thought you were going for a uh, little sprint there, right? <laughs> yeah, I thought I was I've never, seen drink. It, never seen it look in your eyes before. <laughs> something in that oh yeah so here we go again <laughs> try again I hope I hope it'll all fall into place yeah round three today like um, how's it turning out the wind didn't turn up and well the wind didn't turn up it's still got all this this sickness from uh, from what's been going on all yesterday um, a, lot, a lot of the waves are pinching um, but they're throwing also it's going off as far as the barrels on a good one will hold open and the guys are making them but I haven't seen one made yet, actually, but just the, just outside the door.
Yes, sir.
I, I, I kind of came with no expectations, not gonna lie, but it was wild. Like, it's way, way more unpredictable. It was like really, I don't know, I never really felt like I had gotten to flow. It was, there was a lot of really gnarly waves. It was scary. So I think, I think what we saw yesterday was historic in all levels of wave size and performance uh, in really adverse conditions that these guys really came and took advantage of. It was really fun to watch. We saw things that were absolutely amazing. And, um, you know, while there was amazing highs by the successes, um, there were, I think almost everybody got reminded how dangerous Mavericks is with, because I don't think anybody got away without taking some lickings.